Hi everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome back to the Lime Vlog. And today I am completely exhausted. You're probably going to see a lot more of me referencing this thing right here because I am so tired and I'll probably end up cutting it anyway. But if you see it cut, you know what happened. And I am this exhausted today because yesterday, and this is what I'm going to talk about in this vlog, I had my first round of IV treatments. I may not look too tired, I kind of put together my hair and my makeup, but trust me, underneath this, I am so exhausted, I can't even explain. So this, may, this video might be a little shorter than it normally is, and I apologize for that, but I am seriously just trying to get through the next 10 minutes without falling over. Yesterday I traveled 2 hours and 15 minutes one way to get my first dose of IV treatment. And I didn't know a lot of what to expect, as I've mentioned before, so it was a very, very new experience for me. I just knew I was going to go and this thing was going to help me a lot. And the doctor really thought and thinks that it's going to be very successful in helping me kick this thing's butt. You would not believe how many cuts I've had so far. I don't know where I'm beginning and ending. I am that tired. So I'm going to try to make this super, super condensed so you can understand it quickly and I can get through it quickly. This IV treatment helped boost and is helping boost the components in my body that help my immune system. So it's going to really supercharge those and the immune system is going to, you know, grow and kick this thing's butt. This It's going to help kick this disease's butt. That is the long story short, that's what you're getting because I can't do it again. And I think that that's a big focus right now. I have a lot of symptoms and the doctor told me about that before I even went into it. He's like, you're going to have this race of symptoms. So I'm not alarmed. I'm just super, super exhausted. Mentally, physically, all that. But I want to talk about the emotional stuff that goes into this too before I even start talking about those symptoms. This has been such a long journey, long, long journey and difficult and hard to get people to listen to you, let alone be compassionate. And this doctor and his team are just wonderful. The tech who put the IV in me and set me up, she was so nice and caring and they care for this group of people and it's just like, you've been through so much unkindness. And you get to the point where people are kind, and it's very moving, especially because you're already emotional. <laughs> but it's so moving and so welcoming, and just like that breath of, oh my god, I'm safe, I'm being cradled. And I have to share that because it's one of the most amazing things about this treatment, getting this treatment, is that, that compassion that you finally have. There's nothing like it. I have this exhaustion that started a couple hours after I had the IV treatment and I knew it was coming, but it started making me so tired and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, it's real, it's coming. So today I'm missing my therapy and, and a class. Which is the first class since I was diagnosed and all this has happened that I'm missing and that's really really terrible so yesterday I called my therapist and I'm like I'm not gonna be there she was perfectly understanding and I contacted my professor I'm like this is what's going on and I've been trying but I, I can't make it like I'm gonna collapse after this video but they were both super okay with it and so I'm not worried about that that's fine what's going on is I am so fucking tired and I'm not going to censor myself anymore I try to not say bad things in these vlogs but Nothing more. There's no better way to explain it. I'm fucking exhausted. It's so done with this. It's not just the exhaustion. I'm also getting some of the depressive symptoms back and anxiety. And, and they're just like turning into this ball of, guess what? You're depressed and anxious and you don't feel capable anymore. And, and it's so sudden because it's just you get overwhelmed by this treatment. It goes into your system and... It, it's not unbearable, but it's like some of the worst ever. 
So I'm trying to plow through that. And my point about all this is, this is like a world of suck I'm in right now. Like a world of suck. But it means that my system is attacking the Lyme disease and it's kicking my butt. But that means that it's kicking the Lyme disease's butt. So that's a wonderful thing. It's causing die off and this thing is for the first time ever really getting a taste of its own medicine. So if I have to suffer through that a bit, at least it means something good. This one friend of mine yesterday, I'm so proud of her. She, she's like, I have these memory gaps, these horrible memory gaps, like just throughout my timeline of life. And she's around my age, so she, I think she's around 30. And she's like, but, I don't remember who I was or the things I did in certain situations, so why don't I use this opportunity of not being hindered by the stuff that's behind me? Because I can't access that anyway. Why don't I use this opportunity to be the person I wanted to be, be the person I want to be, and be able to drop that because I can't remember it. And so she's moving forward and doing something really good. So there is hope because she has it so chronically. She's had it for so, so, so long and she is using it for good for herself. So I hope all of you can get to that point. I also hope that this little peak from my experience, and I will go into a lot more in the future as time continues on, but I hope it helped clear some things up, maybe made it go from opaque to a little clearer, you know? So, because I was very much in your position where I went, I don't quite know what to expect. So in the future, I hope to make that even clearer and that this just Maybe if you're in the same position as me, where you're going to go into it, you understand a tiny bit better, at least, to make that potentially scary jump into further treatment. That being said, I'm going to go put on some sweatpants and a baggy t-shirt and let my hair down and eat some food and do my paper and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I am sure as hell going to try. And I hope all of you over there are going to be able to try too. I know there's been a lack in videos and I'm not very happy about that, but a lot of stuff happened the past few days and I haven't been able to do a lot because I was going to originally do stuff yesterday, but then I had to make the appointment to get the IV treatment. So hopefully videos will be up super fast. I'm going to hopefully get this out tonight after I study, but if I do not, it will be out tomorrow, and tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm also editing the Longwood Gardens video that I did with Angela, and that was on Saturday, so that shows how backed up I am. But I'm gonna get it out as soon as possible because it was a lot of fun, we saw a lot of cool stuff, and I can't wait to share it with all of you. So, <sighs> keep doing the fight, okay? You can do it. I've gotcha. You got yourself. You got this far. So until we next see each other, hang in there, stay strong, and I'll see you then. Bye!